Constantin. My adorable cousin. I am always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So what was causing them? The city and its outposts were being continuously attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it, and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I've never seen anything like it, and there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation, do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a Guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The Governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the Islanders, and yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardig Glenderman, a Beach Guardian, but it seemed just as sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the Guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps, but I am certain that there is more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, fair cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. And we have other reasons to be preoccupied. Another epidemic, one that concerns us a lot more, remember? You should try to meet this Enon Mil Flichterman, who is so well protected. It's true, and I'm taking care of it now. But be vigilant, will you? Perhaps we will be attacked next. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure nothing will happen to us. Is there anything you would like to tell me? I must take my leave. Take care, and come back soon. Congratulations, Dunkus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Mil Fuchtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, 
My title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Duncus. I'll be there. We spent two days twiddling our thumbs in this village. Don't you think we have better things to do? There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me, and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path, and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg.
I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be taught by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That's... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all for us. Flee, or you will be dead. I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It is actually some kind of poisoning, and it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? 
There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. But it is something I must verify by myself. Oh, I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua Aulum Sekarans. Goodbye.